I guess what I'll do next is just kind of run the game and kind of see how it all feels. I wonder if I should get rid of this like shed thing because it like, uh, if I'm saying you can go inside this one, it would lead me to believe like you could possibly go inside that one, but you can't. So maybe what I do is like, if I get rid of it, um, again, I think I'm just gonna like move it way out here in case I want it back. But I saw like, like something like this. So let's duplicate that and move it over. And like this one helps break up the space, which I think is good, but doesn't imply that I could go inside of it. And I want, I definitely want my trash dump. Uh, these, whatever, I can move them wherever. And so maybe something like that. I wouldn't, so like, again, this spacing is problematic because it looks like you could fit through, but it's kind of awkward. Like, are you meant to fit through there or not? So probably what I do is move this flush with the fence-ish to kind of create more of a clear path. Um, and I like the idea of having like back here as an option, like I could kind of like hide something back here. And if I put this in the right spot, I'm kind of like totally walling off. Um, like the only way to get over there is to go all the way around the long way here, um, which again can be useful. F like if I want to put some kind of key item back there, uh, just kind of make the player rewarded for exploring or something like that. Um, and I remember also when I was looking through my props, I really liked actually, um, let's save this. Let's go back to that prop scene. Uh, where was it? It's in the asset pack asset showcase. They had these freight boxes that you could actually like walk through. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if I want to use the empty one, uh, that has the doors open or no doors. So let's just see what they're called. Cargo container and then a bunch of stuff. Oh, through and open. Got it. Uh, so I either want to use through or open, I think. Uh, let's go back to our scene and see how these things could fit. So I'm just going to search in my project win window, cargo, open, and there's like two choices, a little preview. Um, that one or that one. I honestly, I'm not quite sure what the difference is. So let's just throw one of them in here. Um, and let's look at the other one, which was just open, or I mean through, cargo, through. And uh, that is just the model. You want to find the one that looks like the little blue box. That's the prefab version. That's the one that you're going to place. We'll throw this thing in here. Uh, that doesn't have textures on it, I guess. So we'll use this one. All right. So which one do I want? I guess if I put like the through one over here, the player can just like walk through it. Uh, I'm not even in the right spot of my map though. Shoot. Where was I working? Um, back over there. So I'm just going to collect both of these. Hold shift to select them both and move them back in closer to the work area I've been at. Um, so I could put the through thing here, but then I'd lose my dumpster. So maybe what I do is I take the dumpster and I put it back here. Um, in fact, I guess I could get rid of these things or I could put them on the other side. Cause I kind of like them to like break up the vertical view a little bit. Uh, and then I can put my dumpster thing here. That looks pretty good. Yeah. 
and maybe even I put it all the way against the back wall. I'm not sure, or closer to the back wall at least. Again, I don't want to create this like space the player can get like go in between, so I'm trying to avoid that. I, w I probably don't want it clipping through that either, so something like that. Um, I see this little issue, so looks like I actually need to move my fences a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Oops, I accidentally clicked this thing. I just want the fences. Kind of had to carefully click on its actual model. So maybe a top down view would help here. Man, I keep thinking it's going to help, but then I can't actually see what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to tell when that gap is closed. Uh, so it looks like it needs to move a little more. Or oh, wait a minute. Where is the. Am I inventing this gap? Oh no, yeah, there it is. Boy, it's very hard for me to see. So another trick, you know, I can, as I move this handle, the problem is the handle's so far away, I can't quite tell, I can't like get my camera positioned where I want it um, and click the handle. So you could try moving the handle and seeing which of these changes, but actually since I have two things selected, um, it's harder to. But I notice, let's see, I'm gonna uncheck local, I guess, and I can see it's this blue arrow. So this is kind of confusing, but global is like north, south, east, west. So like blue is always gonna be, you know, like we could call that north, I guess. Um, and then like the red arrow this way is always going to be like east. Local is like relative to the actual thing. So it's easier to look at with a character. Blue is always forward. So you can see her forward is, you know, easy to understand based on her face. But if I were to like rotate her, you see how the blue is changing. But if I click global, it's always going to be pointed that way. So anyway, just different ways to move things based on um, if you want to move it based on its local orientation or its global orientation. In this case, when I have these two selected, I can see in global that it's the Z is the blue one there. So I could start adjusting the Z by hovering over here and clicking and dragging. And that way I can have my camera wherever I want without, um, without uh, needing to click on the handle. Anyway, does this look better? It's not so bad. Uh, I just need to fix my dumpster a little bit now. All right, cool. And then I, I guess I accidentally pushed this stuff through the wall. I should just probably delete one of them. Something like that. Cool. Okay. So I wanted to consider I guess I would need the through version of the cargo container so that I could put it here and it won't like prevent the player from exploring all of this. As much as I like this, I'm wondering if it's a good idea because it's really going to eat up a lot of space. The only reason I like it is because it's just kind of an interesting, fun thing to do, to walk through, basically. It's more, a little more variety, but um, it may not be worth it. Uh, 
Yeah, it kind of seems like everything's too lined up here, you know? Like, this would be cool to, like, put, like, kind of diagonal in here, but then this would have to go, so I don't know. Maybe this guy is just not meant to be. I'm just going to move it over here, and we'll think about it. It's in the maybe pile. All right, let's run my game and kind of see how it feels. So, like... I'm going to set it up so that basically you can talk to this door. So that'll be one of my NPCs. Uh, right now I can walk through there, which I probably don't want to have be possible. So let's just fix that while, I, while I'm thinking about it. I guess I could fix it in a couple ways. I could put a prop there, or I could just move the whole building. I think I'll just move the whole building. I don't think that's gonna look too weird. Might look cool if I like try to line it up with that pillar. So, something like that. It's pretty close. I could try to get a little closer. All right, I like the way that looks. And so let's try it again. I think it's uh, important to have, you know, like props kind of like that breaking up the space, but we'll do more props later. I don't know what happened there. It was like, oh, interesting. Is there no collision on this? Uh-oh. So, is there collision on, yeah, there's collision on this other stuff. So I think we need to add like a mesh collider to that hanger. Hopefully that works. So basically if you look at this one, it has this thing called a mesh collider, which means it uses its model. Actually I can lift this up and maybe it'll look more interesting. Yeah, there we go. So then it, it uses its model as a collider instead of like in this case, we have a separate collider that's because it's like wasteful to make a um, collider that like maps perfectly to that it would be very expensive um but in this case this is simpler geometry i'm just going to add the mesh collider uh to this object and i think that will not that'll stop me from like walking through it but remember the doors are actually separate pieces here so i think i can probably still walk through the door so i have to add mesh colliders to these doors. Actually, I could probably add a box collider to these because uh, that's just a box. And I needed to hit these other doors too. There's one there. And I'm just using box collider because it's I can get away with it and it's simpler basically than a mesh collider. We don't need to map perfect perfectly to that mesh. In the case of the house I did because if I just used a box collider for the house it would be fine except for I want to be able to go into the door. So I needed to use the mesh because the mesh has this section like cut away. Um, I'm noticing my cursor feature isn't working right uh, and I don't know why that is. Did I mess something up with that? Somehow this isn't working. Uh, I'll keep my eye on that, but in theory the cursor should be like hidden and locked whenever I play the game, but here's my cursor, so something's wrong with that. I'll have to look into it. All right, so I'm happy with this layout. The last piece of the puzzle, oh, oops, this wall. This wall doesn't work so good. I see what happened when I moved that house over. It um it created a gap there, right? So I can either put a prop there or I can move the house back and put a prop on this side. I actually see that this there's a piece of fence right there. What happens if I move it over? It's not quite lined up. 
But the issue is, you know, it looks like the fence is going through the through the the wall, so that's not very good. So I think it's going to be easier to move it back. And so if I like move the house back. Just want to make sure that this pillar isn't going through the through the garage door. So I need to move the house forward some, and I do kind of want it to look like built. Oops, that was just the door. Control Z that. I do want it to kind of look like the house is like really merged with this pillar. So now I just need another prop there to block that, I guess, or I just let the player walk through there and not worry about it. But that actually looks pretty bad. So All right. So what I did was I just found, I just duplicated one of these walls and rotated it. And I think that looks okay. So now you can't get back there. Uh, all right. So I think I'm pretty happy with this layout. I'm just going to, um, you know, continue playing it and checking to see if there's any issues and changing it and iterating as I go. Um, but next, I think I should start adding the NPCs.